y varies directly as the square of x. We were given our complete set of information, our ordered pair, and then we were told to find y when x is 8. So whenever you hear varies directly, we're going to go with multiplication. Multiply. And then if you hear square of x, you just you need to account for that. So once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say, um, I'm going to work it over here. I'm going to say y would equal to, be equal to k times x squared. And again, I'm, I'm using multiplication here, this multiplication symbol, because I was told directly. And I'm using this, let me highlight it, I'm using this square symbol here because of the phrase square of x. So that's where those are coming from. All right, so now let's plug in our ordered pair. So 16 for y and 2 for x. So if I do that, I'm going to get 16 equals 4k. So that's telling me k is equal to 4. So at this point, I can say instead of y equaling kx squared, y is equal to 4x squared. And now it's asking me, hey, can you go ahead and plug in 8? So let's do that. So when I do y is equal to 4 times 8 squared, that's 4 times, what, 64, which will be 256. So that's where I'm getting my 256. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Bye.